Hey everybody, Kiara here back with another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. Um, last time we left off, we got, uh, this, this Pokemon. I, I, I forgot the name for a second there. Uh, we got Weirdeer. We got Weirdeer, you guys. And now we could ride it. We did get weirder last time, right? I think we did. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Sorry, I thought um, it could be easier to climb mountains, but I guess not. Okay, anyways, you guys. Uh, we're, we are here at the Obsidian Fieldlands. We need to go this way for something. Uh, we need to go this way for. Hold on, I'll I'll find the button. There you go. <laughs> uh, we need to work with Leon and Irida to make tea time balls from Cleaver's favorite foods. Yeah, we need to try to like lure Cleaver to us. I guess. I'm not really sure what we're doing. We just need to go make some tea time balls. So let us do that. Fainted? What? I have a Pokemon that's fainted? Really? I did defeat... I did catch, actually. I am really impressed with myself. I did catch an Alpha B-Barrel, you guys. Alpha B-Barrel. It was really cool. It was really terrifying. And scary. That Baneri is running away from me. It's fine. There's a side duck. Do I have Pokeballs? Yeah, I have 11. Okay, I'm, I lost that one. Alright, um, so Baneri's the type to just run away. Good to know. That is really good to know. Alright, so we're gonna head in this direction. To get closer to, you know, the area. Hello. I could just, I could literally just touch the Pokemon and it doesn't engage in battle. I find that crazy. That, that is kind of crazy actually it's very crazy you'd think that you'd get hurt if you touch a Pokemon right like if you physically touch a Pokemon but apparently you don't why am I not riding on weird ear I, I I'm confused by that oh, I guess weirder can't oh <laughs> can't go in the water oh I'm gonna drown you guys oh I drowned did it seriously drown? Why is it black? I've never seen this before, you guys. That was actually really scary. So I should probably just, uh, you know, not do that. Probably should just take the path. God, I've never tried to swim in that deep of water before. I was like spamming a button and it did not even want to, uh, I did not even want to swim up. It's crazy. Um, okay, anyways, we're working with Leon to make tea time balls, which is a name Professor Laventon decided on. And I remember laughing crazy at that name. That's a terrible name. So you say that the galax that you galaxy people came up with a, a method to try to quell Lord Clen Cleaver's <laughs> frenzy. 
What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of yourself. <laughs> Can't speak. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. Gah, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I'd forgotten all about you. <laughs> Rude. I've forgotten all about you. He just straight up said that. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon on me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle me? Yes, I will. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you in your depths. Okay then. Aw, oh, it's so adorable. Aw, oh, I'm just gonna destroy it. It's so cute. It's so tiny. I got a new move. Let's use it. Whoa. Swift did that much damage? Swift did that much damage? Compared to quick attack. That is crazy. That was crazy. Ooh, Cyndaquil could evolve, you guys. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see you to your Pokemon's wounds. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Okay. There, a very a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. Let's do this thing. As am I. O oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benev benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Kiao, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. I seriously do not know how to dodge yet. Grasha! That's the sound. Grasha. Grasha. <laughs> it's a terrible sound. Am I the only one who's going to be throwing them? Oh god. He looks crazy cool. Could I catch him? Is it possible to catch him, you guys? Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. Okay. We got this. Okay, to claim... Hold on. My eyes itch. <laughs> to claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy ga gauge reaches zero. Oh. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Okay, not sure I understand this, but it's fine. 
I guess I'm supposed to actually. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, I I know how to dodge, you guys. I figured it out. I figured out how to dodge. No. God, I was not expecting this. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I am not used to dodging. I probably should have practiced. Okay, I'm over here. Oh wow, he really could control his moves, man. Oh god. No, not forward. I did not want to do that. Dodging is pretty cool. Send in a Pokemon to do a battle. I probably should have been doing that, huh? I'm just like, I probably should have been doing that. Oh, wow. Whoa. That was... One hit? Oh, God. Okay, I'm scared. I am scared. Oh, God. Do not walk near me, dude. I am terrified of you? You don't have health, do you? I, I don't... Does he? Oh yeah, he does, okay. I have to look up to see his health. Alright, here's my chance. Alright, send in a Pokemon to do battle. I will do that. Okay. What type is he? What type is he, you guys? Like, water is super effective. But yeah, he doesn't look like a fire type. Okay, I'm just going down the list here, you guys. Just going down the list. Okay, he doesn't look like a fire type. Okay. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Sorry, guys. That really hurts. Where are you going? I'm over here. Okay, that missed its mark. I'm over here. Come get me. Dang it. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. Okay. Dang it. I missed it, you guys. I was too slow. Okay, send in a Pokemon. I'll try. There you go. 
Just a random Pokemon? I'll do that. Show Cleaver my power. That is hard to do. Because it is really strong. <laughs> at least I'm super effective. I'm just like, at least I'm super effective. God, having a battle like this is crazy. This looks crazy, you guys. Ooh, is that it? One last one. Here you go. It's so pretty. God, these graphics are amazing. Okay, it doesn't glow anymore. Doesn't glow anymore. So now it's all dull. I don't like it. <laughs> you receive the insect plate from Cleaver. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of a bug type. And then it just runs off. Naruto style. W what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe? <laughs> Well, this is what I think, after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? <laughs> then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Kiara accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife from the, uh, with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for our Lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. Three citrus berries. That's it? <laughs> I'm just like, that's it? Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though, between you and me. I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. The three citrus berries were sent to your storage since there's no room for them in your satchel. So why can't I just pick up stuff and send them there? Whenever, whenever it says there's no room in your satchel. Can't I just literally like pick them up and then they just get transported to my satchel? No? Could I not do that? Alright, well let's go. Uh, could I go up here first though? I cannot. Okay. Maybe? No. <laughs> I just wanted that item. Even though I've never used it before. What the heck is that sound? You guys. Did you guys hear that? It was like a sparkling sound. 
like like cleaver <laughs> okay I am confused what was that I have no idea what that was it was seriously like seriously like a you know something shining and it made a, the sound that things make when they shine. Okay. Anyways, right now I don't care about these binaries. Uh, so yeah. No, I wanted you to attack this tree. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's not in uh, a fruit tree. Never mind. Alright, I need to go over there, so the fastest way is just to, you know, teleport. But first... Ooh, look at this, you guys. Cyndaquil could evolve. Let's do it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> cool lava. You are adorable. It's crazy how I think it only said that it could evolve like at level... Like at level 19? That's not usually when Cyndaquil evolves. Uh, let's see. Go here? Wait, how do I teleport? I forget. There you go. Let's go here. Well, actually, I have to go to Commander Kamado, right? So, should probably just teleport over there, right? Okay, anyways. Uh, I got more money. Let's go back to Jubilife Village. And, yeah. Do that. Uh, okay, updated files. Okay, cool, sweet, all right. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't really care about looking at the Pokedex, so yeah. You, hmm, you quelled Lord Cleaver, you say? Oh, well done and bravo, my girl. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Komodo. Okay, so I guess he's just taking me back. It's fine. That's perfectly fine. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do we what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says where all creation was born. That is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. So you were given the plates when you impressed Weirdeer and Cleaver? That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these gathered across Hisui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they trickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. All right. First, before I go to Commander Komodo, I want to talk to this person. I have some new styles in stock. Please feel free to have a look. Um, let me see. Don't think this is it. I thought you were just supposed to give me something. Shinx, Bidoof. Uh, are you not just supposed to give me something? I am confused. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. Let's leave. Why can't I enter your store? I want to enter it. You're supposed to give me stuff, though. That's... That's the thing. You're supposed to give me stuff. Uh, let's see. You can't wear this kind of item with your hairstyle the way it is. Okay. 
That is pretty. <laughs> that is actually really fancy. I really like it. Um, we got Shaman. Bottoms. Nice. Uh, casualty. No, that's a... We got sandals. Better. Definitely better. Or we got modern shoes. No, sandals. Uh, we got contacts, of course. How do I style my hair, then? I mean, I guess I just have to go to the hair styling place, right? I don't know where that is. Where is that? There better be, like, a lot of options to style my hair. Uh, this looks like the place, right? There's scissors on the walls? Yeah. What can I help you with today? Uh, let's do this. So then, let's get you inside, shall we? I've never done this yet in the game be before, you guys. Can you believe that? Uh, go on and have yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Now then, my dear, what sort of look would you like to go for? Um, okay. Braids? Let me see. Eh, Like that? Braids in a bun? Oh, that is pretty. That is actually really pretty. I like that. Shorn? Oh my god. Oh, hey. It's Don's hair. <laughs> or short. What the heck? Okay, I really like this one. This one is really pretty. Um, this is the color of hair. They do not have that many colors. Gold hair. Well, my hair is black, so let's just go with black. It looks nice with my eyes. Uh, this is, what is this? What is this? Oh, my eyebrows, okay. <laughs> I'm just like, what am I looking at here? This is my eyebrows? Okay, well, black, obviously. Uh, yeah. Confirm. Lovely, I'll have you styled and ready in no time. I was hoping for way more options for the hair, but... I mean, hey, it looks really good. Thank you for coming in today. Take care not to leave anything behind. Imagine I actually do. <laughs> what if I leave, like, my quilava behind? Alright, my hair is done, and now I could go change. Let let's go change. I got some more stuff to put on. We got a Pikachu festival mask, you guys. <laughs> it looks so weird like that, though. That is so weird. Uh, we'll wear it for a little bit until I get tired of it. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. So I did get this festival mask option because I played Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu, right? So, yeah. But I could have sworn there was supposed to be more outfits that she will just give me because I've played all these games. But I don't... <laughs> I don't know how to get them. I do not know how to get them. Um, oh yeah, I have to go to Commander Kamado. And he is on the third floor. So let's go to the third floor. Okay. Hmm, well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hasui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. Is that how you pronounce that? I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I have received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties, and prove that you tr you truly are an asset to us. 
That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow survey corps members are likely to, uh, likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Mission complete. The frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. That was a crazy battle. I cannot believe I actually did that first time. Benny, old chum, the usual order. The three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. She's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against Cleaver. <laughs> think I was not unharmed. I dare say Kiara was well prepared. And she was a quick study of how Cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. Okay, now that is true. I just, like, watched its movements very quickly, in fact. And I was able to start dodging because I just clicked a random button and I dodged. So, <laughs> thank you, Volo, uh, for teaching me how to dodge, even though I forgot. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. Going to work in the field lands should feel a lot safer now thanks to you. And if you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny, bought, uh, Benny taught me how to make them. So I wrote out his directions into a recipe. Smoke bombs, a caster fern leaf, and a suit foot, a, a suit foot root. Okay, <laughs> lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. So that's a new goal. I'll just have to study the Pokemon. Kiara. I've been waiting for you, Kiara. My name is Vesa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? <laughs> is that her creepy voice? Does she need to have a creepy voice? Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please, Gary, help me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Uh, I don't believe you. Yeah, I guess that's a normal response to hearing such a strange story. I must sound crazy, but you just have to believe me. Can I give you this odd keystone anyway? It'll help you see I'm telling the truth. God, I could not take myself seriously with that mask on. <laughs> a mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps gathered over across the Sui. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally visible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Okay. I guess I will do that. Late at night. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> the wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Eerie asparachi asparachians? Uh, asparachians in the night. Oh, I'm bad at reading, you guys. <laughs> That's a lie. The next day...
Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Kiara, the girl who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. I knew it! You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen... Ch okay, I cannot speak. Uh, chosen ones! Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arazu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip! But I came here to talk to you, your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Arazu's predicament? Okay, that's a mission. Predicament. Okay. I guess, let's see. Oh, it says gather the wisps gathered in every Hisui thing. But it also says I have to go there. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Who are you guys? A fine day to you, my friend. Care to pers uh, peruse our top-notch selection of rarities? The Ginkgo Guild cart sells items you won't find at the general store. Oh, okay. Berries? And, uh, ingredients? Cool. This is what I have. And this is in my item box. So can I just put this stuff in a box? I don't know. I have no idea. Those clothes you were wearing when you first came to the village, I can't describe to you the shock that gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse of the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Definitely. I see. Well, I have the duty of making this village more fashionable, too. Let us study fashion together. You're part of the Survey Corps, am I right? Please, I ask that you lend me your talents. I've been told that Hippopotas, which can be found around the Crimson My Mirror... Meyerlands? <laughs> have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like if I were to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Please, could you show me a male and a female hippopotas? I will try. I've never come across that before. Uh, what do you want? You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice. <laughs> that it would. Unfortunately, uh, Tao Hua... Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any good, any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get something if you bring him some hardy grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but I'd make it three to be safe. To play it safe, okay? Uh, let's see. There's a lot of requests, you guys. Holy moly. There's a lot of requests in the town right now. Hey, sport, interest you in some target practice? All you've got to do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even got some fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. If you're up for a challenge, you just let me know. I'm usually found, uh, usually to be found in the practice field. Aim for the big leagues. Okay. Oh, you're the girl from the survey corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Anis, Anis from the medical corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. The search for bitter leaves. Okay. God, there's so many requests right now. Wow, you're amazing. I want to partner Pokemon too. Okay, it's a boy. Actually, they're both boys, but this person. Show. <laughs> oh, hey, survey lady. Know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the galaxy team? Uh, be super brave? Nope. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. 
With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as 100 people. I will really want to catch a Pokemon on my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the Survey Corps and all. Do you think you could give me just five of your Pokeballs, please? What it takes to be awesome. Okay. Well, I do have five, so here you go. You handed over five Pokeballs. Woohoo, now I can catch a partner in Pokemon of my own. Here's a reward for you, just some grit dust. <laughs> okay, it was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you could ask Captain Z Zizu. She knows all about it. Okay, that request is complete. I got some grit dust. Anyway, I'm going to practice loads with the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that, that'd be a great partner for me, let me know so I could go catch it. Um, okay. Oh my, you, you know, you remind me of some, me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with the Pokemon just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me sometime. Measuring your K compatibility? Show a Pokemon which I have a strong bond with, okay? lava <laughs> I'm just like okay look how pleased it is to be traveling with you you're a true friend here I can tell my grandmother was precisely like you the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon I grew up watching how she interacted with them so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are if you'd like to you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Okay, well, I did that one. I got rare candy. Alright. Uh, who else has a request for me? You do. Hey, listen to this. I saw something out of the wild. Oh, it was incredible. Come again? The thing I saw was a will-o'-wisp, a ball of... Bright red fire. When I was walking on windswept run the other night, it leapt at me like, whoa! <laughs> okay. Add it again with the story, huh? Don't listen to her, ma'am. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that will o' wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? Ha, good luck with that. And then he just runs off. It's so frustrating, he won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're with the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a Will-O-Wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? You want me to catch a ball of fire? What? You want me to catch a ball of fire? What? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be doing that sometime soon. Catching a ball of fire. Hey, you're in the server corps, ain't ya? Just a gal I was looking for. <laughs> I'm working to make these air fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow. So I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the survey corps. We're all in this together after all, right? So if you have a ground type Pokemon, could I borrow it? Uh, do I have a ground type Pokemon? No. Yes? No. No. I don't think I do. Alright, where am I going? Uh, let's see. I need to go that way. To the building. I think that's actually all the requests in town. Finally. That was a lot. Um, anyways, you guys, that is the end of this video of, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Next episode, we shall be trying to complete some of these requests, and then we have our next mission, which is, uh, what is our next mission? I don't know what our next mission is, but <laughs> come back next time for more Pokemon Legends Arceus.